gonna here greatest divider. Check this out. This actual axe is kind of split in half. Check this out. It's such a big opening and you have a hole in your axe. And then there is a whatever you call it, a little spring, one round spring inside of it. Look at that axe. Whenever it splits, it's, it divides it so good, it just flies away. Not even a hard hit. Now that it's already split, I like a smaller my pieces of my firewood. Look at that. Huh. This is insane. Okay, let's do a couple more pieces like this. They're already split in half. Just to show you how much it flies apart. <laughs> It works so well. I love it. I don't even have to swing hard. There's a couple more pieces out here. Let's break them apart. This is so cool. This is definitely a fun, fun splitter. Look at that. It divides it really, really well. The only question is how doable the axe handle is have to fix it for sure <laughs> this is too easy I don't even have to swing it hard ah you see it wasn't hard enough flaps didn't open so didn't split it you see how much it tosses out so that way it's not in, in my way anymore let's do one more bigger one see if I can do it again guys this is incredibly rare Splitting axe. This is gonna go in, into my museum. You see? So, keep splitting it. The beginning is hard, but look, my hits are really good and accurate. So now we're gonna go this way. Look at that. He cracked it up. Nice. Now it's broken off. This is good. I like this axe. Gotta make sure my handle doesn't fly away. It has to be fixed up. Yeah, as you can see, it works really, really good. There's one more piece. Nice. Love it. Didn't hit it hard enough. This is incredibly rare splitting axe too, so I don't want to destroy it because it costs a couple hundred dollars easy because I can charge whatever I want because it's hard to find them so maybe one more time and look at that don't even have to swing hard there you go got it here another coin sorter this one is from Amazon and it's all plastic earlier I showed you all metal Check this out, they have redone this one and also you can uh, sort the dollar 25 cents, 5 cents, 1 cent and 10 cents, but not a 50 cents. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Let's try it out, see how it works. Set it all up. It's kind of like in a little bit. As you can see, the tray is not too big and there is a maximum. So, you don't want to exceed the maximum. You see it? I'm probably gonna do it a little bit lower than a maximum. Okay, let's spin it. Okay, five cents, one cent. 25 cents, oh no. Looks like we got one miss. Put it back in here. Oh, why is it stuck? Definitely wouldn't overfill to the max Because then this happens And I would spin it actually slower So it works But not as good of a quality like a vintage metal one You have to push it with the finger sometimes And because it's uh, plastic I don't want to mess it up too much so, for the most part, it looks like it uh, did it correct. One five cents came out in a long hole, or two of them. 
so I wouldn't put it as many coins because this spinner is quite small all the five cents are correct I don't see the 25 cents in there or anything else nice and there is all the 25 cents that's it so this time I would rather put consistently but a little bit that's pretty awesome ah huh? you see what I'm saying sometimes it's over stuck and it gets stuck over here so the vintage one is way better you see five cents keep falling out sometimes Let's see a little bit different view. Don't overfill it again. And it gets stuck over right here a little bit. But for the most part, it does work. Looks like there's a damaged quarter. Looks like damaged quarter will not work. Somebody looks like shot it with a BB. And whenever there's few coins left, looks like it doesn't want to work that well. So whenever it's too empty, it's not good. And let's start to spin it, see what it looks like. Again, looks like spinning where it's supposed to. And where it overfills, it just drops. Probably don't want to spin it too fast. You see how they go in line and fall where they're supposed to. And over a spill falls back into here. Yeah, definitely don't spin it too fast. And you see, for some reason, whenever there is only one coin left, it has hard time to go inside there. Again, the vintage one, I think the quality is way better. But this one it still works. A replica from a vintage uh, coin sorter. That's pretty amazing. It's not heavy at all. Get stuck over here sometimes. But there you go. Ah, last one. You see it kind of falls off sometimes. It's not super level table either though. Let's see if we can uh, sort a whole half a jar over here. What happened here? There you go, sometimes getting stuck. This is why I don't like putting too many coins. Yeah, I didn't have that issue with the metal one. That plastic one definitely gets stuck a little bit more. So I'll unstuck it and it's gonna keep working. So definitely wouldn't overfill it or not even get too close to the max. Maybe like just a handful, spin it, put some more handful. And this is the gem. I don't know why it's jamming, probably because it's flexible out of plastic metal one is not so flexible you see how it's over spilling sometimes for no reason oh wow there is another gem so yeah quality is always very important whenever you buy gadget even though this one works again look at that how it's supposed to be separated and sorted the quarters got a pretty unique product idea from amazon this is a miniature candle campfire that's pretty cool hopefully it will be odorless let's see how hard it is to light it i got one of these torches wow that's it it's on fire maybe a little bit more once the whatever you call it wax is melting it's going to burn it's a little bit windy so as you can see this is just like a big big candle and it smells like a big candle and they're advertising it like a miniature campfire and as you can see the smoke coming off is pretty black so this is not the same as your regular campfire this is just, uh, I don't know, campfire in a can. There's uh, more information over here. If you want to put it out, you can just slid the can off. Shut it off with oxygen. Make sure it's all the way off. Then you can close it. 
wait till it cools off then you can lift it and touch it but yeah i have put to the test years ago this gadget much much bigger one and the smell definitely coming off like a candle so you pretty much can do s'mores over the candle so it will make a flavor of the candle whenever you're going to be making s'mores on it your marshmallows will smell like wax because that's what happens right whenever you cook with fire your steak will taste like uh, wood you know like burnt wood so this is kind of funny to me uh, product right here but nevertheless pretty unique uh, for maybe camping and survival station pretty cool i have done few uh, candle makers like that burners that you can put pot over it and boil water so this is still really cool how they have made like a survival life hack into actual product you see this little square over here easy to light especially when the candle is already going but it is coming off quite hot hot uh, flame so i probably wouldn't uh, cook s'mores over it but i will boil water over it easily as you can see it's gonna last a really really long time so if you put some kind of stand for the pot maybe a couple of rocks or maybe three big rocks and put it over this flame you could boil water pretty easily look it's pretty windy it's still burning really good yeah just like a big big candle or a mini fire pit in my opinion that is a really cool survival gadget doesn't blow out that easily so best thing to do is cover it up like that don't pour water in there because you know what will happen to a wa hot wax it will just pop so very very interesting isn't it easy to relight when it's hot and the name of this brand is radiator portable campfire that's so funny you see on the lid it says portable campfire but this is mini read the instructions before use got it here fractional gold bar that is actually not so fractional right now it's one and a half gram solid gold bar so that's cost around three thousand dollars on ebay it's a little bit more expensive three thousand two hundred i paid 3075 so like this is right here welcome be susie 50 gram fine gold four nines and all this like other things on it and what's so unique about it it teaching you how to break them up so this is 50 gram 50 by one gram it's very very breakable but it's also pretty thick so it's not super squished in uh, tiny bars it's pretty thick still it has on each bar like this one has just a random stuff over here some of them are just nothing but on this side it tells you exactly what it is and on each one of them it says one gram fine gold four nines and the logos on it so that's pretty unique and check out this how to break them up just like a chocolate bar so let's open it up for satisfaction purposes uh, you can stick it obviously in the wallet without breaking it up but some people like fractional gold for like prepping purposes in case you'll have to pay for things in gold and silver so let's just slide this one open now that i already ruined this but also they sell little holders for these little things put it all together there you go check it out look at that bar it's so much nicer out of the package it's so much shinier it is a mirror shine check this out from very far away in the package obviously it wasn't so shiny so that is nice to hold a little bar like that the reason why i don't have gloves because i'm about to break it up anyways wow it's hefty so yeah uh how to break it up Ooh, it's tight so usually you just fold it a couple of times as you can see till it comes off just like uh, breaking off a metal wire wow silver comes off a lot easier than the gold boom and keep on breaking it off and that way you have fractional gold check this out one two three four five so that way you got right here very spendable gold so each one of this is about 
57 dollars uh, that's a gold spot obviously you can get a little bit higher premium but not when you're breaking it apart so whenever you break it apart you actually lose a little bit of premium there you go then you can break it in force over here wow it's definitely a bit harder to break it apart versus silver silver seems to be a little bit more brittle that stuff is soft it just want to stay together that's so cool and so satisfying then i got right here element card so what i will do is take off half of that uh silver and put some gold in there so check this out the same way you can either put it this way or the other way probably the other way is a little bit more beautiful check this out it fits in there so well so you got right here element card i'm probably gonna buy more and that way you can stick it into the wallet and have a little bit gold and silver depends what you're gonna pay it with i mean obviously right now you won't be probably trading so much with gold and silver i don't know i probably not planning anytime soon but there you go you got that here element card obviously you probably could do the platinum and palladium like that too but that's pretty unique don't you guys think check this out you got it here gold and silver in pieces and if you sell this card just like that to a coin store maybe you can be able to get a little bit higher premium with that because that card costs around 20 dollars by itself so if you look at it closer the golds fit a little bit better because it's more denser than silver silver sticking out a little bit more that's kind of unique so that way you can teach your kids about density of gold and silver and metals that's so cool you can have like platinum palladium gold silver so you can really mix different ones up in here because each bar should probably say what it is so yeah break apart gold bar what do you guys think definitely really satisfying get it here new steel chainsaw ms 400 c so this is what i was told at the steel shop that is uh, just came out so let's start it up and see what it's all about i bought it because i have a couple of, of logs i need to chop it up check this out this blade is huge and long almost too small for this tree but i think we can do it that's way better than 18 inches chainsaw okay this is the biggest chainsaw i ever used i like it that there is only i over here and zero to stop that's it that's cool you don't have to whole bunch of it choking it and stuff wow that's it That is so easy to crank it. Chain, right now, it's a steel plate. They loosen that up like that. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Really big teeth. Nice, look at that. Look how easy it is to start it. No way, that's it. Starts up easily. You don't have to like choke it and start it a bunch of times. This poplar is so big, it's almost too small of a chainsaw. But we can do it again.
easy it is to start it. You don't have to crank it 10 times and change this position and crank it a few more times. By that time you're super tired. Right here there's a safety off or it's safety on I mean. And boom. Turn it off. That's it. It is brand new though. And to turn it off. All you have to do is just press that. That is amazing. Usually, you know, those uh, chainsaws, you got crank and a whole bunch of stuff. That is amazing. So yeah, I wish all of the chainsaws easy to start like that with one pull. That is so worth it, you don't get tired.